On the 29th anniversary of Goodfellas release, what's the best Martin Scorsese movie? Goodfellas leads the way, 64%. Departed, 26%. 5% each for Taxi Driver and Raging Bull. Come on now. Come on now. I understand it's a millennial world and... Come on, folks. Talking to me? And I understand... You're talking to me. Talking I understand me? that a certain age group might not be pointing and clicking. Raging Bull has only 5%. Raging Bull... See, I'm not a fan of Raging Bull, Mike It's Del a good one. Tufo. It's a good one, you but I'm not... You love Pesci. This I do. This was Pesci before Pesci. Yes. Okay? Yes. This was De Niro uh, to the nth degree. This amazing. is when De Niro was, like, changing his 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 body. Yeah. To... to, to Make movies and, That's and to create a character. Out of those four, though, dude, you are way, way off. If you choose The Departed over Raging Bull, I, I, I might gotta. have to. And you know this is serious. I might have to remove your Scorsese card. <laughs> if you like The Departed over Raging Bull, I love The Departed. I, I was a cop, too. so I like the cop. I was telling you guys this morning. Oh I like the cop gosh. angle. So the if you were a boxer, cops. you would have loved uh, Raging Bull? <laughs> yeah, I mean, no. I mean, I like... Dude, <laughs> Raging Bull. You ask you ask people who fight and say, what's the most real boxing movie out there? They say it's Raging Bull. No, the movie's amazing. Okay. And Scorsese's oh, amazing. It's, it's the fourth one in that list. For all me. right. Let's put this all aside for the moment. I don't even know who you are anymore, man. <laughs> I say this uh, knowing my uh, uh, the listeners and viewers of the show how much uh, I adore them. It's just an absolute outrage. <laughs> the Departed has a great cast. It's a great movie. It is one of the uh, quintessential opus type work of of Scorsese. But in no way, despite the incredible performances of Jack Nicholson and Leonardo DiCaprio and Matt Damon and Mark Wahlberg and Alec Baldwin and Martin Sheen and Vera Farmiga and so on and so forth. Under no way, shape, and form is it in the same area code as Raging Bull. And no way, shape, or form uh, a, a taxi driver with De Niro and Albert Brooks, by the way, and uh, Sybil Shepard, okay, and Jodie Foster, and Harvey Keitel. There is no way. Peter Boyle? The, the Departed, right, Peter Boyle. Yeah. There's no way The Departed should be anywhere near five times the percentage of these movies in in this vote. I cannot, I mean, Goodfellas, I would say, is the best That's Scorsese the best movie. I would you agree. You can't argue that. But it's it's 1B and 1C are Taxi Driver and Raging Bull. <laughs> have you seen King of Comedy yet, Chris Brockton? No matter not. how many times I implore you to see it. I have not. Here's what you do, should do. You should definitely, and everyone out there, before we get to your news update, Everyone out there should see it before you see the new Joker, Joker movie. movie. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because from what I could see in the in the in the trailer for the Joker movie, is the Joker is plays uh, uh, gets a shot at stand up comedy on a late night show, and the late night host is played by De Niro, and this is absolutely a wink and a nod to a mentally disturbed stand up comic getting a shot on a late night show. And the Joker in the role of Rupert Pupkin, a.k.a. Robert De Niro from this film. It is a wink and a nod to King of Comedy. You should see it before you see the Joker, which I'm sure you will see. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.